Hi, I'm Paul Markello, solo trumpet with the Orchestre Symphonique de Montréal, and I have a big idea. History of classical trumpet in 10 seconds. In the 17th century, you had composers like Bach and Handel writing for trumpet in their masses and cantatas. In the 18th and 19th century, you had composers like Haydn and Hummel writing solo concertos for trumpet. And in the 20th century, you had an amazing influence of jazz going into the style of classical writing. After the Second World War and the occupation over in Paris, France, you had many artists collaborating, influencing, inspiring one another. So during this time, several of the composers were writing for instruments that were better known for jazz than in classical, particularly saxophone, trombone, and trumpet. Composers like Henri Tomasi, André Jolivet, and Alfred Desenclos were commissioned to write these concertos for the conservatory system, the final exam. These concertos represent classical, but strongly influenced by improvisation and jazz. So during that time, three of the most prominent concertos were written. And since that time, they've almost been forgotten. There only exists to this date in the history of those compositions, a handful of recordings and not too many live performances. I'm so drawn to these concertos because I think they represent the best qualities of the instrument. These concertos are very difficult to play, but it's surprising to me that there exists only a handful of recordings and not that many live performances. These concertos are, are too important not to be more exposed than they already are. The OSM, Orchestre Symphonique de Montréal, is a Grammy and Juno award-winning orchestra known worldwide for its ability to interpret the French repertoire. And I've been its lead trumpet for 18 years. Our solo trumpetist, Paul Mercolo, carried the OSM name beyond Montreal by establishing successful solo careers and as recording artists. This recording of major pieces for trumpet and orchestra is a perfect example of an OSM artist as ambassador for the OSM. I feel it's very important to reframe classical music as a living genre. Like any art form, it evolves over time. Different influences and different artists make their mark, and what was old becomes an ingredient of something new. With this album and this recording, I hope to offer a new take on this music, and with your help, we can give a whole new perspective and a whole new take on this repertoire. You see where I'm going with all this. As exciting as it is, recording with a world-class orchestra in a world-class concert hall with world-class sound engineers, requires a world-class budget. Whether you give 10 or $10,000, any amount will help. I can't do this alone. In a nutshell, this project requires the help of 92 classical musicians for three days, two sound technicians, two security guards, one agent, two art directors, one computer artist, one secretary, and a small crew to make this video. I want to give something back to you for supporting me. We have an awesome selection of rewards, including master classes, signed copies of the vinyl edition of the album, a special invitation concert, and I'm even giving away one of my first trumpets and my most important trumpets. I won most of my professional auditions on it, and I'd made several of my solo recordings on it. Yamaha Music Canada intends on giving our album as a gift in their future trumpet sales. We know we're going to reach a wider audience, and I hope that we're also going to be able to influence a new generation of young musicians. With your help, we can make this happen. Thank you very much. <laughs>